saying, folks, if I was my father and if I have to teach my daughter or my son, my future son, my future daughter, or my current daughter, I would, or an upcoming person who wants to get married, they need to understand this. Marriage is like a contract, a business contract. And unfortunately, as we hear nowadays, there's too many divorces happening. It's maybe because of a bad contract or whatever how it is, right? You have to look at it as a business contract. When it comes to divorce, you thought the most loyalty person that you have sleeping right next to you is stab you really hard because with the lawyers, they try to milk as much money or, you know, or win as much assets, for example, try to fabricate the story or whether it's like financial abuse or any form of abuse or control emotionally and um, they get more money so it's a win for the party but it hurts real deep because it's a personal level and also not only just that but also like when how my baby mama filed for child support she fabricated the date to make it seem like we have fabricated more than six months which we haven't we're only separated for like two three months and she doesn't want to fix the problem and when she have her like that, she fabricated to the point that we've been separated and lied to in order to get, you know, the social welfare benefits, parenting payments, family tax A and B, or perhaps with um, everything like that. But also when you have her like that, it plays up with the child. The child was born innocent. And uh, when the child is born innocent, they have no idea why mum and dad never talked or whatever with that war, whether it's money or whatever, it's greed. And also, the Happy Wife and Life channel that I watched, you know, just a red pill for women, it tend to talk more about this area where it is gone to the stage where, um, what is the stage? The stage that talked about like, uh, woman has to play fake it till they make it poker face in a relationship whether it's regards to family peer pressure family peer pressure um, or being left behind that not being the married one or they've been dating so many in the past but never actually secured one and whether they have to use any form of way to secure a man whether it's a baby trapping due to the baby rabies um, or perhaps with like, uh, so you have that baby rabies and it all, or you know, just to play along, try to be interested in what your interests and hobbies. And once you're married or get the baby, they change 360. You see their true color. That's why a lot of MGTOW and a lot of the Ray Peel video is chameleon style. So that's why I said it's very difficult when you're not in that position, when, because when you men generally has less dating experience than women, women, any woman can date anyone. And men, there's only very few selective, but as you get older, it makes it even more harder. Who do you date? Do you go for Tinder, Grindr, or, or any of those online apps, whatever how it is, right? So you have that notion. When you have that notion, it becomes a problematic, right? So with that being said, divorce and marriage is like a, a business contract another one is like there's huge two huge um, brackets age brackets for divorce whether those who are newlyweds which I'm not gonna discuss more about that but also like midlife crisis or retirement age where they start to realize oh maybe the kids are close to be adult or perhaps they're already adult what's after life they start to realize whether they want to change or about survival because you had a different point of the stage for example like um, you know assets we start to realize cost of living is too high if I divorce now then it's about survival I can prolong my retirement or I can find another man or woman or perhaps what's the other one man and a woman or perhaps you know money for their retirement village or aged care or enough so splitting up a family assets or wealth is the way to go and with what i mentioned with the um 
you know, with the lawyers that I mentioned early on and this and that. And when you have all that and the welfare, there's really no punish, you don't get stoned to death. You know, this is like, you know, you're living in a society that everyone's checking you out and this and that. But the loyal person, it touches really deep the one that sleep with you. The ride for your journey, your experience, it cuts even deep and it hurts. And you broken families. And this is why I say it's broken generation, it's a lost generation. It's never ending. And that's why I say for upcoming those who are married. And not only just that, you're already in a business contract already. Her income is her income. Your income, a man's income is a family's a family's um, responsibility. Her income is only her. It's already a business transaction. And when you have that business transaction, what do you go from there? Nothing. You can't go anywhere. And that's where it becomes a problem, where it could be your wife being cheating or presumity or whatever you name, the label you would have have. There becomes a problem where it's gone to the stage where what is what is next? And that's why I said to many of all those men who want to get married, these are the stuff that I've gone through. I thought I achieved life, making good money, but so many bills and debts never ending. It's piling up. It's increasing cost of living as well. And then you and the wife fights at home or everything. It's about money. You can't control it. And they, you know, a lot of newlyweds or those who are married for a couple of years, they can't handle it. And they, divorce is the only way that option. And there's another talk about like, in life we can lose our career, maybe redundancy, job loss, or, or company gone bankruptcy, or whatever the reason that you lost your job, maybe career change, maybe the move that you went to didn't go through. When a man loses a job and couldn't get back up, for a certain period of time and when he loses it that's it he's finished and when he finish the m wife would generally will go through seek plan b plan c or plan d and go through the divorce route and but when a when a when a woman got loses their job the man will always support the woman like emotionally everything but obviously when you manage you know staying afloat with mortgage whatever or ongoing bills and when you have like that it becomes a problematic that's why I say men and women are built differently. And that's why I say divorce happened because of money, wealth, and everything. Once upon a time, you guys loved each other, have last, making love all the time, making babies, whatever you call them. And now you have to destroy it because of X, Y, and Z. And when you have it like that, it becomes a problem. So that's why I said marriage, you have to look at it as a marriage contract. You already set yourself in a marriage con contract already. And when you have like that, it becomes a problematic.